semaine. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. That's if they tell you the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 15. NASDAQ was flat. S&P's down 2. Gold contract up to $25.90, trading at $12.26 an ounce. Silver up 41 cents, 72, uh, $72. That'd be beautiful. The silver up uh, 41 cents, $17.33 an ounce. Platinum up five bucks, nine fifty nine an ounce. Copper up two pennies at two sixty six a pound. Light sweet crude flat, forty eight dollars eighty five cents a barrel. Notes ten year note down seven ticks, one twenty three sixteen. Thirty year bond off seventeen ticks, one forty seven twenty four. Now both notes and bonds, folks. Uh, bottom line went topside yesterday. Had the price spread, had the volume, all of the above, back down today with lighter volume. What is that saying? That's saying that they both want higher price. They're in the higher range once again. They're going topside. Rates are going down even after the fact that uh, the Fed has raised short-term rates yesterday by one quarter percentage point. King dollar. King dollar right now is down 490 ticks, trading at 100.085. King dollar has been uh, come down 1,200 ticks yesterday. Uh, when I started the 3 o'clock uh, hour program, it was down 300. And this continues to go uh, down, folks, uh, as time ticks by. King dollar is going after its February 2nd swing low. That February 2nd swing low is 99.145. Um, boy, it's trading right now. Um, you know, we break that 99.145, that baby will go down to 96. So that's going to be pretty intense in the, in, the action, in the action inside this currency market. You have the euro trading at 107 to the U.S. dollar, and the yen is trading at 113 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So you get a sideways move out here today. You're down 46 cents. Bottom line, you're at 238.49. Um, this high of 240.32. Absolutely can get, get tagged. That's your S&P. Dow Industrial is a little bit different. The Dow is weak. Uh, the Dow, the, the high in the Dow is the 21,169. Now, the low of the high is 20,957. So we failed there. That's what we end up doing. You know, you, you went into that uh, yesterday and we closed at uh, 20,950. And it's 957. Today... You got up to uh, 21,000, and bottom line, you backed off again. So your correlation goes like this inside the Dow Industrials that we did 804 million going into 1 billion. So that's pretty good. That's, uh, that's a good failure. So Dow is the weak dog here. Uh, Russell 2000 is too, but Dow, Dow is right there with it. NASDAQ composite, composite's at highs. The composite, the high is 59.11. We hit 59.11.497 today. Um, Dow, I mean, the NASDAQ just went sideways. I expect that 59.11.794 will get tagged. NDX 100, same setup in the NDX 100. Uh, that is at 132.01 right now, and that was over the high of 131.68. Gold contract, as we come into Friday in the gold contract, looks to me like we're going to have a nice uptrend on this Friday uh, inside the metals, which uh, that's going to have everything to do with the U.S. dollar, too. When we go over to the dollar, we take a look at it. Uh, so what you have in the metals is this. Uh, we are trading at 12, 26.50. You, done, you did 244,000 contracts, so it has it all. It had the price spread. It had the volume. Uh, this baby's going to be building some cars to get up into the 12, 
64 area. And the way this is set up, by the way, folks, okay, this very well could be a very large ABC structure on the way up. I'll put this uh, on a continuous contract so you can see what we're looking at here. You put this on a continuous contract and we put this on a weekly, what you're going to see um, is that your A point on this is 1123. Uh, your B point is uh, 1264. So what do we got? 1264. Oh, it's, a, it's a good one, man. Uh, there we go. Okay, so you get 1264, 1123. You got a 141 A to B. Uh, your C is uh, 1194. Yeah, which generates you a 1335. That's a big number. So first, of course, we'll have to get to the B point. You break the B point with volume, though, you get action. And that's, that's big action. There's no two ways about that. Uh, we get over and we take a look at the, uh, the bond market. Uh, bonds also are generating that they want to go higher. TYM7. You had the Fed come out with the quarter point rate high. And as that happened, guess what? You were, they were buying bonds hand over fist. The 10-year bond went from 122.26 to 123.26. That's it's a full point for 10-year. That's very, it's, yeah, it's, it's unusual. That's a, that's a monster move for the 10-year. You got back inside the range. The range that we're talking about getting back inside is that range from 123. So guess what? It wants to go to the highs, 125.04. And King Dollar, this is it, folks. And you can expect more action than King Dollar tonight because it hasn't stopped. Uh, King Dollar right now, is down 495 ticks. Um, you know, the high of the low that I expect we're going to go after uh, is only uh, 295 ticks from where we are. The high is 99.745. The low swing point from February 2nd is 99.145. Uh, the way this baby is trading, there's no reason that uh, we won't get into it tomorrow. Um, and if you get into that, you know, with, with some juice, you know, bottom line, you're going to be down into uh, $96. And, uh, you know, and in that context also, it was un not that it's unusual about it. Technically, it wants to go. But what we did have out here, this goes to show just how weak the dollar is. Um, uh, Secretary Steve Mnuchin, this was the first trip he did overseas. He was in Berlin today basically talking about that, you know, he likes the strong U.S. dollar. So they're pumping, they were trying to pump the dollar. Uh, bottom line is that, guess what? The sellers inside the dollar. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials closed down 15. NASDAQ was flat. S&Ps were down a buck. We're going to be right back. TFNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures. And the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger luncheon social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today. And we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th. 